Hello folks, welcome to the Urban Rider Studio and welcome to a new helmet from HJC. This is the HJC V60, is a retro looking motocross style of motorcycle helmet for road usage and it is one of the safest motocross helmets we currently stock and the reason I say that is that it's passed ECE 2206 safety standards. They are stricter safety standards coming into full effect in 2024, so they are a little bit ahead of the curve in this instance, but they've at least future-proofed this to be with us for a long while. Now, obviously, eventually other helmet manufacturers will catch up, but as of the making of this video, this is the only helmet we have in the motocross bracket that passes those new standards. So what is it that I like about motocross helmets in particular? And I'm a new convert to this style of helmet, actually. I've only just started using them, but I can say from my experience, I appreciate the visibility that you get with the wide opening on the front. It is akin to the visibility you would get with an open face helmet with the added benefit and safety of a chin bar. And you might wonder what sort of season I would ride in a helmet like this. And the honest answer is pretty much all year long, with some exceptions, if it gets below say five degrees Celsius, yes, I would change to my full face, but even in cold temperatures, it's not that uncomfortable if you're wearing the right clothing. Usually I'll be wearing a neck tube of some sort to cover my face. And of course, goggles, which will also cover a lot of your face and block out those colder elements. If it's raining heavy or like I say, freezing outside, I will go to my full face. But the rest of the time, I'm perfectly comfortable in something like this. Looking at it and actually reading the specs on it, you can probably see some similarities to other motocross helmets. The closest for me in this bracket would be the Shoei X0, which does share a lot of style and function with this helmet. They do look different, so it depends which one's gonna catch your eye. You might be drawn more to one over the other. But it's worth noting, this comes in at a lower price than the Shoei X0. This is £269.99, which is a very respectable price for the colorways you can see here. So either the matte black, the gloss black, or gloss white. They also do some quite extravagant colorways and style. So if you want something a little bit more eye-catching, those are £299.99. Let's take you through the features of the V60 and what you get in the box, actually. So you get a few accessories, including the peak, if you want to have it on, having ridden with it on. I would prefer that on most of the time. If you are doing high speeds, they can sometimes catch the breeze, but this one does fit really securely on there, so you shouldn't get too much movements or noise from it. You will also find an internal sun visor, which drops down from the top there, and you can have it in two positions. Either this position here, if you've got a slightly longer face or maybe a bigger nose if it's coming into contact with it in the fully down position, but if you've got a tiny nose like me, then you won't find that a problem at all. You can drop it all the way down. It does cover a lot of your face, actually. So if you are concerned about airflow and you wanna block that wind from getting to your eyes, it is a really useful thing to have. At the moment, they don't have any clear visors, although I would expect at some point they will come out with other accessories for it. Now I personally do like wearing goggles with my motocross helmets because it helps stop them from misting up. If you're wearing a full face you will find as you breathe into it even if you've got pin lock sometimes it can get a little bit foggy in there. You get a bit less of that with goggles because you're not breathing into the screen. If you're worried about sizing it's got a big opening on the front so it's very easy to comfortably fit goggles in there. The ones we've got on the gloss black version for example are the Barofoldi Speed 4s, but you can find a host of goggles on our website. What's also nice to see is that these new safety standards do mean the helmets get padded out a little bit. Sometimes they get a bit heavier as well. As a result, this is still a really light helmet. It comes in at 1,250 grams for the medium or large that we've got here, and it comes with three shell sizes. So if you're between a medium large, they're quite common sizes. In actual fact, they share the same shell. So you've got either extra small and small as one shell size, medium and large as another, or extra large and double XL as the biggest shell size. That helps the large look a little bit more slimline because it shares the same shell size as the medium. In case you're wondering, it uses a fiberglass shell construction. Fitment is always gonna depend on the individual, but from my own personal experience, I get on really well with HJC. It is a brand I gravitate towards. I know I've fit their helmets in the past, and the same is true of this one. They're accurate with their sizing. It is an intermediate oval shape, so pretty universal. And with some helmet brands, I find, because I've got quite a big head, but a thin face, the cheek pads feel a bit loose. And actually it's the medium I tried on in this helmet and it fits really snugly all the way across the top of my head and my face. Stylistically, I love the design they've gone for. I really like the circular 
vents on the chin bar. They give it a real aggressive look to my eye. It's got a very clean silhouette. I love how aggressive it can look in the matte black colorway. It's probably the one I will be most drawn to, although I do really like the more extravagant designs they have on option. And the other thing I really appreciate is that there is very little branding across it. The only thing you will find is this little badge down on your left side with the HJC logo, but the rest of the helmet, as you can clearly see, is very clean. It uses a double D-ring closure system across your chin, which is the most secure. You'll notice these bits of leather and suede in certain areas on the liner. The liner is, of course, fully removable, and it has these emergency tabs. If the emergency services need to get your helmet off you, they can do that quickly and easily using these, which is also great for safety. It has a very comfortable and plush liner. It has a super cool interior. Their words, not mine. I'm not just running out of descriptive terms, but it is moisture wicking and quick drying, which will keep it fresh and more comfortable for longer. You also have little cutout sections. If you want to fit an intercom, you can do that easily. Awesome helmet to look at, very functional, very stylish. I will drop links in the description if you want to see this for yourself or the Shoei X-Zero. Let us know what you think of it in the comment section and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.